Bifana, the Witch of Christmas. This is an interesting character figure for us to look at because she defies many of the classic determinations that we would use for uh, uh, divine or extra supernatural beings. She is classified as a witch, which are typically working with demons or evil spirits. And she is associated with winter, freezing, death, but also gift giving and presents and the Yuletide. She comes to us from the culture that developed North Italy. And some mythology writes about her as being a demon or witch or winter spirit that was written about in myths and legends from that particular area. She is linked heavily to the winter solstice and the idea of gift giving and in this capacity is considered to be a benevolent creature. She appears as an old woman and delivers gifts to children on Epiphany Eve, which is January the 5th. She is also known for being a very fearsome tormentor of anyone she chooses to make her victims. She's known to possess a home or personal item and can extend influence over pets and small children. But being popular in folklore is the myth that stands out about her the most and her connection to the festival or the Feast of Epiphany where she would fill the socks of children with candy and presents if you were good and quite predictably she would leave a lump of coal if these children were bad. Being herself a great housekeeper, many say she will sweep the floor of your home before she leaves. And in this culture, sweeping the floor meant sweeping away problems of the year, which was timely given that she came in around that th the winter solstice celebration entering into a new year. Whether she was truly a witch or a demon or a lesser type of divinity, we'll only be able to discover through more lore. But obviously the connections to the myth of Santa Claus and Christmas is written all over uh, the body of what this, this mythology is about this particular creature. Although she takes the guys obviously as an old woman, but everything else is, falls in line. We will explore more connections that we see, which have very visible lines between different belief systems from people at different geographical areas. As always, we appreciate you stop in and watch our videos at Nine World Chronicles, and I will ask as always that you like and subscribe.